Same thing. How do you work Instagram? Where are they? It's up here, isn't it? Is it? Crafts. No. Nope. Right, we're here at round two, Ling, Norfolk. Uh, been to Ling quite often, but it was a bit different this time. We've come down from the north, so I've been at home for a couple of weeks since Cullum, and we were at Tain last weekend for the first round of the Scottish Championship, which I was doing some big sends, which you might have seen on the gram. And then we went to Dun uh, Moto Park this week and was doing some big sends there as well. So if you haven't checked those out, make sure you hit up the Instagram and check those out but now nah, we're looking forward to it there's uh, been quite a bit of rain here so the tracks in good condition wouldn't like to see too much more rain I think it's probably perfect the way it is so one of the major things I'm quite excited about at Ling is there's no concrete start uh, it's always something that everyone dreads I think is trying to get some traction off the concrete and it's uh, mesh again this weekend so everyone knows what they're doing on that as long as it's not raining we'll get full traction and hopefully we'll get a couple of good starts i think the aim of the game this weekend is to make no mistakes and try and claw some points back in the championship i'd have to say i'm pretty disappointed with how column went uh, although the bullet helmet did look good in the second race the results didn't really look that good when i looked at the overall championship position on the day seventh overall at the first round wasn't what we were looking for so Here's hoping this weekend we can get out, nail a couple of good starts, mix it up with some other KTM and Yamaha riders that are coming this weekend and and hopefully get some good points on the board. Woo! I can remember back in the day, like 75 and that, there was tufts of grass in different places. You know, you had to kind of dodge the tufts of grass. Like that, you come down and it was like, whoa, you just put you off, isn't it? Again. Proper old school motor. All the shells from the nukes. <laughs> what about you going to tell us the Rob Herring story? <laughs> oh, I don't know anything. Oh, was it that one? Aye. Right. I tell you, if I, if, I hadn't, if I hadn't hit the brakes, honest, mid air we were upside down. Uh, honest. Did you crash that anyway into that? Didn't really crash out, I just, I just bopped, bopped down and half dislocated my hips. <laughs> I could no joke, I had to stop, I was done. <laughs> I was done and I had a, a GP in Austria the next weekend. Through that S and it's like word. That's a bit new to that yeah, one. Yeah. That's not that's not moving. Hot line denied. Tricky section. And it's one of those bits you just come out of that corner and you go like Bob down the hill and then back into it. Yeah, well, just come flying up there, don't take a breather, just wide open all the way. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here for yeah. his helmet. Had his tennis shoes on, just hit the whoops wide open. <laughs> Not seen you all morning. Been grafting night. Oh, that'd be make a change, wouldn't it?
So that's it, sixth overall at Ling. Definitely, again, not what we wanted, but um, felt like I made some progress with ideas for setup because that's what we're still struggling with. Didn't get out of the gate today nearly as good as I'd wanted to. The track was just probably the worst I've ever seen it for not being able to pass. Um, really enjoyed riding the track, but racing the track was just, yeah, terrible. We got off to a tough start this morning with 10th and qualifying. Just didn't feel comfortable pushing any faster than I did, so 10th where we were at. Starts were poor, and then the first race I had a tumble on the first lap and finished 7th. And the second race I was absolutely trying my brains out, and we man managed to get 4th. So, again, not what we were looking for, but we're only 20 points back in the championship. I think Tommy's leading now, so we need to try and uh, get a few points out of him at the next few rounds and it's definitely not over till the fat lady sings. I've been in a position in this championship before where I've led from the outset, I've had the red plate, you know, I've been cruising along nicely and it's all went wrong. So this year we're trying to do it the other way around. So check in the next time and it's a track that I really like, Canada Heights. I've been uh, there a lot and I've won there a lot. So looking for a top step of the podium next time out. Cheers.